I need to take the bit of Goyle back to Hermione in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. I've got the bit of goil. Well done, mate! There you go. Rather you than me. Thanks. See if you can get into the common room. Okay. Good luck, girl. Harry? Good luck, girl. Harry? No dawdling, Harry! Oh, no, no, no. moaning, moping myrtle. I do have feelings, you know, even if I am dead.
pure blood? What's the password? But I can use that to get into the Slytherin common room. Goyle.
You're just a second year student. I don't have time to talk to second years. Where's Crab? You two are never apart. Where are Draco and Crab?
Hi, girl. Goyle? Sorry, Goyle. I didn't see you lumbering towards me. Let's lock all the Gryffindors outside until frost forms on them. You don't want us to call for Professor Snape, do you? There you are, Goyle! I've been looking all over for you. Come on, follow me! You know, Goyle, I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush up all these attacks. He'll be sacked if they don't stop soon. But as for St. Potter, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think he's Slytherin's heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. You must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing, last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's a matter of time before one of them is killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco, I'd best be going. Going where? Uh, to the hospital wing. Yes, that's it, the hospital wing. I've got a stomachache, and I need to get something for it. Go on then. I don't want you hanging around here all night with that pained expression on your face. Go on then. I don't want you hanging around here all night with that pained expression on your face. You don't want us to call for Professor Snape, do you?
I'd better try to keep my distance from the Slytherins and sneak out. If they spot me in here, who knows what might happen? Who knows what might happen? Hey, come back here! Harry Potter? No, he can't be in here. Something's not right. Professor Snape! The news that nearly headless Nick had been petrified spread through the school like a dark cloud when everyone got back from the holiday. If a ghost can be petrified, the students thought, then no one is safe. The first years moved around the castle in tight-knit groups, afraid they might be attacked if they ventured out alone. A furious trade in talismans, amulets, and other protective devices was sweeping the school. In the meantime, Harry had learned that Draco Malfoy was not the heir of Slytherin. But if it isn't Draco, and it isn't Harry, who is it? <laughs> 